two. Hello everyone, welcome to Calm Creations. My name is Tia. This is my little space here on YouTube where I share all my crafty bits and pieces and things that I've been up to over the last week or so. So first of all I want to start by sending virtual hugs to um, Patchy Pony Stitcher, Sue, Judith, Susan, Darren, Bronwyn and Deb R from Frog Cottage Designs. Thank you very much for coming and hanging out with me and your lovely comments. Um, I really do appreciate it. So, let's get into what I've been doing. What have I been doing? Well, a bit of everything. So, first up is Travel Stitching, which is Tribal Turtle by Mo Sale on Etsy. And I'm stitching it on a piece of 14 count hand dyed Ada by Crafted by Juliet. So that is this piece here. So I've filled in all of this bit down. Well, not all of it, it's only a tiny little minimal amount. But I filled that in. So now I'm ready to come down the neck. And there's some flippers on the sides. And then we will, um, I'll be able to work on that again soon. So that's coming along very slowly, but it is coming along. And what's next? I'm just going to shove all these back in there. Next is my piece that I'm doing with Kimberly from the Fat Quarter Shop. Um, this is a chart by hands-on design called A Year of Celebrations Continues and this is season two so that's what it will look like when each individual block is done and I'm down here now doing the August block so Um, and this is where I'm up to. I have to put it, hopefully. So this is where I'm up to. So there's a little legless seagull. So that's where I'm up to on that one. These are so much fun to stitch. I really en am enjoying them. So that is that one. Now the next thing I worked on was Pandemic because I didn't work on it the week before last and I got behind. So I have since done some on Pandemic. I'll show you what it will look like. So that's Pandemic. And... This is where I got up to. So, let me fold that back up. Now, I'm doing it all in colour block rows. So, I've started coming up here. So, it's coming along. So, that is Pandemic by Long Dog Samplers. Why is everything trying to slide away? Okay, now the next thing, last week's stitching, oh, where did that go? I didn't bring it out. Um, last week's stitching was um, Halloween Sal from 2022 by Stitchonomy. So I put a bit into that. So I did all of these borders and down there a bit too. So that's coming along. That was good to do because I just went ahead and did all the black. So that was easy. So that is that one. This week's stitching, which I forgot to bring, is... Um, 
mini night cafe which is going to look like this so that's this week's stitching so I showed it last week where I was up to and I didn't even bring out next week's so next week so um, a mini night cafe by Leonard Aframoff and it's a heaven and earth designs and I'm stitching it on 25 count easy grid and that's it there I just love all the bright colors so and then next week stitching is cozy cove which is by Charles Wysocki and it's a dimensions gold kit I'm doing it with the kitted fabric and um, the threads so that's what that will look like when it's finished I forgot to bring that to you so right so that's all my stitching um what else have I been up to I told you last week that I was doing the sewing demonstrations at work Saturday and Sunday just gone so that went really really well I didn't have a lot of time to get a lot of sewing done because there were lots of questions and people and but that's what it's all about so the three projects that I decided to make were I only got two of them started were um, this one here which is a Kirsten Katz tote bag now these patterns are all free on the spotlight website so that's that one there I mean those colors are just stunning I do like her fabric um, but I went a little bit different and I now this isn't finished I'm nearly finished it um, went for oh, Minecraft which is a creeper so and I've just got to I'm doing French seams just got to um, sew those two side seams and that little tote bag's done so so quick and easy um, so that is my Minecraft tote bag and the next one I decided to do was this rainbow cushion it's a hand quilted rainbow cushion so I I started that on the day and I'm show you where I'm up to so that's my rainbow cushion well the base of it and it's all gonna be hand quilted just with a basic running stitch whoops everything's falling off um, which is gonna be um, nice when it's finished so that is the rainbow cushion and then the other one that I was going to do but didn't have enough time to do is a drawstring toy bag so that's that one there drawstring toy mat oh I didn't read my cards oh everything is falling everywhere Um, but yes, I didn't. So I'll read the cards at the end. Um, I didn't start that. So that is all of that. Um, what else have we got? Crochet. I have been doing a little bit more on my chevron blanket. I'm just pull some of that out. And I've had a little bit of interest um, in the comments last week um, about doing a tutorial on how to make this crochet blanket so I will get that done so I finished all the black block and I've started on the the grey so that's coming along nicely that's my crochet blanket um, right what was the other thing I've done a bit more on um, Tiana's crochet blanket which is this one now this is getting quite big now so that's that one so this is nearly two balls I've nearly finished the second ball but I don't know 
that's going to be big enough. So that's what's happened. That's what I've got left. So I'll see how I go when I finish that second ball as to whether I get another one and add to it. So that's my crochet. Um, what else? Oh, so I, I don't know if it was last week or the week before or the week before that or maybe even a month ago. I was um, talking about making a new quilt using the um, pattern by... Thimble Blossoms by Camille Rose Kelly and it's the Swoon Quilt. So that's the quilt there. And I bought this pattern on Etsy. Um, and I'd seen Amanda from Three and Three Quarters. She's done it several times and it's just so, so cool. So I made a start. Wait there and I'll show you my first block. So, and I had all the bumblebee fabrics from in those fat quarter bundles that I got from work. So here is my first, that's huge, it's like 24 and a half inches. But I love it. Love, love, love it. It's going to be a huge, huge quilt. So I am very happy with that. It's parts of, it's not perfect, but neither am I so it's a perfect match I'll show you again that's the first block and there's nine blocks the same as this so I am very very happy with that um what else what else what else I've got a tiny little bit of haul um I had a lady come into work and she was wearing this really cool pinafore dress and so her and I got talking and she told me where she bought the pattern from so I bought the pattern and it's by Helen's Closet and this is the pinafore so it's called York by Helen's Closet so I think that will be easy enough to, that is right up my alley for the summer but even in the winter you could wear it with long sleeves and leggings. Um, so I'm looking forward to having a go at making that. And what else? Oh, I did buy some fabric. Um, which I think is just adorable. I, every time a customer brings the roll up to the counter I just ooh and ah over it. And I thought, you know what, I have no plans for it, but I just think it is beautiful. Look at that. It's all wildflowers and and it's a canvas, canvas fabric. So it's quite heavy duty. So, um, But I just think it's so pretty. The colours are beautiful. and So who knows what I'm going to make with that. But I think that is about it for my craftiness for this week so we will read a card after last week's video I went through and I noticed that there um, was some sort of instructions that were um, included in the cards so I'll read you what it says it says the practice contained in these cards provide a wide variety of ways to bring mindfulness into your daily life. The cards are divided into four categories, awareness, gratitude, self-care and kindness. Each category focuses on a different area to help you form a mindfulness and self-care practice. There are many ways to use the cards. You could pick one card every week. There are 52 of them. Or choose one card to reflect on each day. You could even 
decide to leave the cards in prominent places as reminders. You can skip around choosing cards from categories that seem suited to the conditions of your life that week or keep doing the same exercise for as long as it continues to bring learning and insight. It's really up to you. Just follow what feels right and have fun with it. For further learning and reflection, you can keep a notebook to record your insights and experiences from each exercise. Before long, these small moments of awareness will accumulate with the wisdom and kindness that are a result of mindful living. So that's the little, I suppose they're instructions, not really, but just telling you about them. So today's card we will go for gratitude. Okay, now, create a gratitude bedtime ritual by writing a list of at least five things for which you are grateful. For example, laughter with friends, a wonderful meal, a sunny day, etc. If you cultivate this practice daily, you will probably start recognising moments of your gratitude as they occur, th as they occur throughout the day. This in turn will help you establish a practice of ongoing gratitude. Gratitude is believed to have many physiological and psychological benefits such as higher levels of happiness, better sleep, improved resilience, increased mindfulness and less stress. Gratitude. So that's this week's card. So, with that I will leave you all... Um, I appreciate you all coming and hanging out with me and seeing what I've been up to. So thank you very much. I will um, be back next week with more bits and pieces. So I hope you have a great crafty week and I will see you then. Bye.